Mr. Marmelstein. My name is Jules Marmelstein. I'm uh, from Montgomery County, and I'm the only candidate in the race who is not a Democrat and not a Republican. I have no party loyalty to either the party in charge of the legislature or the executive. And neither the Green Party, which is my party, nor my campaign accepts any PAC money. The strength of my qualifications actually convinced the largest union in Pennsylvania, PSEA, to endorse me, even though they had never before endorsed a third party candidate for state office. I've been elected to five terms of local office, township commissioner, and for the last, for two of those elections, I was nominated by both major parties, which demonstrates that I served with integrity, with an open mind, and without partisanship. My wife and I have been teaching teenagers ethics and values at our synagogue for over 20 years. The majority of my appellate practice is in front of the, was in front of the Superior Court, so I'll be ready to start from day one. And my time's up, let's see. I agree with Justice Monday about opening up all the courtrooms to televise, because People need to see what's going on. We have sort of a veil of ignorance. There are a lot of hardworking, honest judges and participants in our justice system. But the people only get to read the articles about the uh, Supreme Court justices that had to resign, the two attorneys general, one for each party, all of that. So by opening it up, and also like Judge Moulton said, I would be someone who would go out and address community groups and student groups um, and let them know the process, the procedure, and what goes on in the courtroom. Uh, as I've said, I've, for over 20 years, I've taught ethics and values to teens at uh, the Sunday school. Um, after my five terms in office as a local commissioner, they awarded me the medal for outstanding citizen. I had no scandals. Um, <laughs> so my, my ethics are there, and that's what you should look for. Thanks. Judge Clark. Well, the judges need to work hard and efficiently but in addition, they need to pressure, if they see any delaying tactics going on, they need to pressure the attorneys not to allow that. As the only candidate who's not a Democrat or a Republican, I can safely say that I'm the only one whose campaign and whose party has uh, not accepted special interest money. Um, I have, as I mentioned, I've taught ethics and values to teenagers for over 20 years in religious school. I've been a lawyer in Pennsylvania since 1980. And uh, I believe that uh, politicians today have started, again, picking up the mantle of saying law and order. And I think that's a great phrase for a television show. However, for our court system, I think law and justice is a better phrase. 